German prosecutors say that the killing of a Georgian man in Berlin last year was ordered by the Russian state. The German government saying that it is taking the prosecutor's statement very seriously, saying that it may take further steps against Moscow over the matter, including imposing sanctions. Now, the victim was a Georgian citizen of Chechen ethnicity who fought against Russian troops in Chechnya. He was killed in broad daylight in the German capital last August. Following the prosecutor's statement, the Russian ambassador to Germany has been summoned to the foreign ministry in Berlin. And for more on this, I'm joined now by Roman Goncharenko from DW's Russia service. Roman, tell us, because the, the German government is considering what we've heard are, quote, further steps against Moscow over the matter. What could that look like? Well, that's a $1 million question. Um, first, it's a complicated case, and it took the German prosecutors almost a year to investigate it. Um, so now we have the indictment, and uh, now the German government has announced we could consider further steps. First, um, you have to think about um, how did Germany handle such cases in, in the past, and we almost have no experience with that. The only um, comparable case is the poisoning of the Skripal, Sergei Skripal, in the United Kingdom a few years ago by Russia. And then we had a joint European response, and uh, at that time Germany expelled four Russian diplomats. In this case, Germany has expelled uh, two Russian diplomats so far, but not in connection with the case itself, but um, uh, for, for Russia not cooperating enough on the investigation. That was uh, what the German government said in December. So now I think we could see more um, uh, Russian diplomats being sent home. We could probably see some uh, Russian um, officials, maybe from the Secret Service, um, FSB uh, put on a certain list uh, and they will not be allowed to travel to Germany. But um, I think Germany might try to get a European response to that, uh, so that several countries uh, in a joint action um, expel Russian diplomats, something like that. But I don't think that Germany will go as far as um, imposing economic sanctions on Russia, mm. because it's a very, very sensitive issue. Okay, so but some, nonetheless, some potentially uh, major um, consequences here for, for German and perhaps also EU-Russia relations. The murder happened now back in August 2019. Uh, we mentioned that, that now uh, these German prosecutors have come to these conclusions. Why did it take so long? Well, there are several reasons, I think. Um, uh, the number one is um, it's a very, very sensitive case. And the prosecutors um, uh, tried to um, uh, use every possibility and um, draw no hasty conclusions because they know very well that uh, this might have political consequences. So they just took the time they needed. And then there are several other reasons. For example, uh, the suspect um, was not traveling under his own name so uh, the German prosecutors f first had to establish his real name. And Russia was not cooperative on that, just like I said. And this uh, took some time to establish the facts. And um, uh, one um, other reason is, of course, that the suspect um, is not uh, telling, is not cooper cooperative with the police, uh, with the investigators. So he's not uh, giving any details. He's just uh, being silent. And this, of course, uh, makes it more difficult to investigate. Roman Goncharenko from DW's Russia Service. Thank you so much for uh, putting this dramatic announcement um, into context for us.